뭐곧 진행될 테니까요. 시간을 좀 세이브하기 위해서 미리 조금 소개를 드리겠습니다. 어, 첫 번째 강연해 주실 분은 그 네덜란드 신재생에너지위원회의 요르 기글로 국장님께서 21세기 네덜란드의 수소 정책 계획 및 프로젝트를 주제로 온라인으로 발표해 주실 예정입니다. 네, 연결되면 바로 시작하도록 하겠습니다. 아, 시작됐네요. 네. to give this presentation to your important hydrogen conference. My presentation will be about hydrogen developments in the Netherlands. In my presentation, I will be talking about three things. I will be talking about the policy of the Dutch government. I will be talking about our hydrogen strategy. And I will allude on, of, uh, I will allude on some of our hydrogen projects. Well, first of all, let me give you some important milestones for hydrogen in the Netherlands. Our government closed a climate agreement last June, June 2019. And um, the ambition is to be carbon neutral in 2050. In January 2020, we released, we as TKI New Gas, an innovation roadmap for hydrogen, which I will be uh, talking about later in my presentation. And in March 2020, we had a very important moment because the Dutch government released their strategy on hydrogen, which I will also briefly present to you. What's also important is the developments in the European context. We have a European Green Deal where hydrogen has a prominent place. We also have an economic recovery plan where hydrogen is included and we hope that this or next week the European hydrogen strategy will be presented which will also be all over with um, hydrogen so very important moment next week if we look at the Netherlands and you can see the Netherlands in the red circle surrounded by Germany Belgium and France and on the other side of the North Sea Great Britain um, we have a lot of interest in hydrogen. And why is that so important for our country? Well, I think one of the main reasons is that we have an excellent infrastructure with harbors, um, energy infrastructure. We are well connected to the, rest, to the rest of Europe. Secondly, we have five energy intensive industry clusters that have a high demand, not only for hydrogen, but also for energy in general. The third, important reason is that we are located near the North Sea, which is a large sea, but with a very shallow depth of a maximum of 40 meters. So we have a huge potential for the production of offshore wind energy. And last but not least, we have an excellent knowledge infrastructure in the Netherlands. So now I would like to look with you at our government, the Dutch government strategy. Well, first of all, what is the background of that um, uh, strategy? First of all, we, we, uh, the government admits that we need hydrogen for full decarbonization. It also admits that we need hydrogen for the systemic role. Some also call it sector coupling. So to couple sectors and to provide flexibility in a world with fluctuating electricity from wind and solar. They also recognize that green and blue hydrogen are necessary to make the energy transition. It also recognizes that it will create many, many opportunities for our economy. And last but not least, if we want to make this a success, we need strong international collaboration. A country cannot do this on their own. And then if we look at the policy agenda that the government presented, then first of all, the government says we want to take on legislation and regulation, looking at, for example, infrastructure, certification and safety. That's something that's a typical government task that the government needs to do. Secondly, it is important to achieve cost reduction of green hydrogen and to scale up electrolyzer capacity. And we will not do this in only the Netherlands, but we will do this in Europe as a whole. The third one is that um, hydrogen can be used in many different end user markets. It's not only industry, it's also mobility, it's the built environment, electricity sector, agriculture, 
in all those sectors, it can have a very useful um, end use. And what is necessary is also a support and policy uh, as far as international strategy is uh, concerned, but also regional policy aimed at our industry clusters and research and innovation. And the government will soon come with a hydrogen program that will bring all these policy agenda items into practice. So I must say I'm very glad that the government has made the decision to support hydrogen over the full strength. Now I would like to look with you at our hydrogen innovation roadmap. Um, what, went, uh, what went up to this moment is that in 2018, we presented a um, hydrogen roadmap, but it was just a rough one. It was more like an informative document to, to tell everyone what's going on with hydrogen. Then in January 2020, we, dis, we uh, published our hydrogen for the energy transition report. And by the end of the presentation, I will give you links to, so you can find those reports on our website. And what we did actually when we drafted this um, innovation strategy, we took about one year and we had many, many uh, discussions with stakeholders in the Netherlands so everyone could have their input. Now, what is this innovation roadmap all about? It consists of five items. The first one is that we said what we need is a clear policy, not only a vision, but we also need the policy to support that. That is in place now. Okay, it's not yet perfect, but we have a very, very good start. The second thing that we need is we need to invest in demonstration projects to show the public what hydrogen can do. And I will give you a few innovation projects later on, demonstration projects, and I will also give you a link to our website where you can find an overview of nearly 100 projects. The next thing is the required conditions have to be created. It's about policy. It's also about legislation. The infrastructure has to be in place. We need standards. We need hydrogen quality issues to be solved. Safety is important. That also needs to be in place to scale up. Beside projects, that's number four. We also need R&D for the long term, for example, to invest in the production of synthetic fuels. And last but not least, we need supporting activities, for example, training, education, because we need people to do the work involved in hydrogen. We also need to communicate to the public and we need to look at the social impact, the societal impact of hydrogen. So this is our hydrogen strategy. And now I would like to take you to, uh, through a few projects about hydrogen in the Netherlands. The first one that I would like to um, present to you is a project where we would like to realize a 20 megawatt electrolyzer in one of our industry clusters. It is expected that the building of this plant will start by the end of the year or, or the beginning of next year. And it will be the largest in Europe at the moment, because at this moment it's 10 megawatt. This will be the next step, 20 megawatts. But we have many more electrolyzer projects to be started in the next two to three years. The second project I would like to present to you is the Heaven Project. And the Heaven Project is an integrated demonstration project, a large scale production um, project of green hydrogen. And it will, be, um, it will be demonstrated in the Northern Netherlands, close to one of our industry clusters. And it involves mobility, industry, built environment. And this project was by the European Union chosen as one of the hydrogen demonstration projects that should be an example for the rest of Europe. So this project has won the competition. It, it has many, many partners and it's still being expanded. The last project I would like to present to you is the so-called Highstock project. And Highstock is a gas, natural gas storage facility which is owned by the Dutch TSO, the Transmission System Operator for Gas, Gas Unie. 
And what they did is they have a one megawatt electrolyzer where they produce hydrogen and they would like to use that hydrogen to test storage in an underground gas storage, which is a salt cavern. This project has already started and it will run for another year and then they expect to expand this project to real large size to store hydrogen underground in the natural gas system. So in conclusion, I must say that all people involved in hydrogen are extremely happy that we have a Dutch government strategy and that it is also supported by Europe. We have an innovation strategy ready, it is in place, and it also gets full support of Europe, which also means that we get many funds available to support hydrogen. Many, many projects are also being executed or are ready for execution. So we really go now from paper to projects. And what I would like to say is that we've only just started and that we need a huge international effort to re really make that dream of hydrogen come through and to realize the energy transition. So for now, I would like to thank you for your attention. And in this list, you see my, um, my address details if, if you may have any questions. And I have included several downloads. So all the documents I talked about, you can find on our website. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for nice presentation.